Everyone wants their sheets to last forever. Okay, well, if not forever, then a very long time. And when sheets start to pill, that's a good sign that they might be on their way out. But what if you just bought that set of sheets and they're already showing signs of pilling? What's up world, it's Tony, the sleep accessories editor for Mattress Clarity, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over what pilling sheets are, how they happen, what to do when it happens, and how to prevent it as well. Let's get started. Before I get too far in this video, I do need to mention that Mattress Clarity does get products sent to us for free for us to test out. And if you use any of our affiliate links in the description box below to purchase any of those products, we may earn a commission from that purchase, but this just helps fund our operations and keeps our content free for you guys. Those pesky little fuzzballs that pop up on your sheet, they have a name and that's pilling or when sheets start to pill. This usually occurs because of friction buildup in your sheets, be it from you changing positions during the night or rubbing your feet on the sheets. And it can even happen from general wear and tear and repeated washing. But regardless, pilling happens because the fibers within your sheets start to break down and then they start to tangle up. So in addition to that friction buildup and general wear and tear, sheets can pill for a few different reasons as well. The materials might not be very high quality and durable and are more prone to breaking down over a shorter period of time. And the weave style can play a role too. Percale weave sheets are much better at being pilling resistant than sateen weaves. Also, when you're washing your sheets, you may be exposing them to the wrong heat temperature. Generally, sheets are gonna break down much faster if you're using the higher or the highest heat setting, either in the washing machine or the dryer. So now that we know what pilling is and how it happens, the question becomes, how do I stop it from happening? Well, it all has to do with how you take care of your sheets. When it comes to washing your sheets, it's better to use a cold or a lukewarm water cycle. I know hot water cycles have their benefits, but when it comes to durability, cold water is better for your sheets. Also think about reducing the amount of detergent or harsh chemicals that are going into your wash cycles because harsh chemicals can eat away at the fibers within your sheets. Finally, drying. Obviously, let's stick with theme here. Use a low or medium heat cycle to dry your sheets. Or if you have the ability to, remove the heat element altogether and line or air dry your sheets. But what if you already see those pesky fuzzballs on your sheets? How can you get rid of them? Well, I've got a few tips and home remedies that you can use to get rid of pilling. To start, if the pills are loose enough, you can run a lint roller over your sheets and that should make them good as new. However, if they're more prominent and sturdy and not coming up with the lint roller, you can use a cheap razor and run it over your sheets. Or if you don't have a cheap razor, you can use some scissors to snip away those pills. Obviously with these two options, exercise caution because we don't want to rip holes in our sheets. But if sheets are going to look thin and they're pilling, it might be a good sign to just get some new sheets. So now you might be thinking to yourself, well, what sheets don't pill and can I get those sheets instead? <laughs> Truth be told, sheets are gonna pill eventually in some shape or fashion. It's just that some are better at being pill resistant than other sheets. As I mentioned earlier in the video, percale weave sheets are very pill resistant and do a better job at staying pill free over sateen weave sheets. Also look at the materials that make up your sheets. Natural materials such as bamboo, cotton, or tinsel are very durable materials materials and will resist pills much more than synthetic materials like polyester. Although in the case of cotton, you might want to be a little extra thorough. Look for long staple cotton because as the name suggests, these cotton fibers are very long and therefore very durable. And while more expensive, linens and silks do a very good job at being pill resistant if they even pill at all. Well, there you have it, some tips and tricks on how to prevent sheets from pilling or what to do when your sheets are already pilling. If you wanna read more about sheets and bedding and mattresses, you can find it at mattressclarity.com. And if it is time for you to get a new set of sheets, I've got some affiliate links in our description box below. I'll see you next time, bye.